The timing for this episode couldn't be any more perfect. This is Ice Sore, and in the episode, it is really hot in Townsville, kind of like it is when I'm recording this, because I'm I'm going to space out when I upload these so I don't use them up too quickly, because I'm very terrible at uploading these things. That time. Anyway, so anyway, it's really hot outside, and while Buttercup... Not but yeah, Buttercup makes breakfast really hot because she's getting annoyed at the girls. So like, hurry up, hurry up! Which, to be fair, that's kind of what I, some people would be like. I forget if I was like that one a little bit. You know, they're impatient about breakfast. So Blossom cools on it because it's... No, not cools on it. She blows on it to cool it off because it's too hot. And she discovers she has ice breath. And, of course, Blossom shows off her powers Sometimes she uses them, and it's like, okay, that's a legit scenario. There's this whole thing about how she's misusing her powers, and then a giant comet is the reason why it's hot. Blossom, after some convincing by the girls, she blows on the comet, and everything's cool. Literally and figuratively. And, yeah, it was a cute little episode. I don't think there were any really good scenarios as far as, like, okay, she should have done this. Because, I don't know, like, saving the kids, I thought that was the scenario where I'm like, okay, that's, like, you kind of should use your ice breath there. I mean, especially given how hot it is. Whereas, using it to stop the thieves, I thought, okay, that was kind of unnecessary. And I, and I, I, I feel like this idea could have been done a little bit better. But, I mean, I still enjoyed it. There are a lot of, like, fun little things in here from, like, the voice work. Like, I love Bubbles. There's certain moments in the episode where Bubbles' voice is particularly high and, like, it's really adorable. And also, I'll have to look this up, but I'm pretty sure that Miss Keen is Jennifer Hill. That sounds a lot like Jennifer Hill. Off the, off, I'm Googling it right now. Yep, it's Jennifer Hale. Ah, love Jennifer Hale. And also Blossom, that when her tongue gets burned when she bites the oatmeal and she's and sh she talks funny for a couple seconds. I love the delivery. I really wonder how that was delivered. She was like holding her tongue during that, or she actually stuck her tongue out. And so I mean, I'm sure that was probably like a fun thing for wh whoever was recording her to record. Also, I love the effects of the heat on the screen. The screen's constantly waving, and the and the sound the uh, that's made when Blossom does her ice breath powers. I thought like it's like a whistle or something, and it's really cool. And I I don't can't put my finger on what it sounds like, but it sounded really cool. So yeah, I really don't have that much to say on it. It was a charming little episode. I don't think it was the best Power Puff Girl, one of the best episodes I've seen from the show, but, you know, enjoyable, charming, and that's what the show's been like. Even when it's not particularly good, there's still it's still charming at times. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. Is this, do you enjoy this episode? Are you like, yeah, this isn't particularly one of the, my, the best ones? Like, dislike, subscribe. And this is JSTAR60, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.